you guys, it's me again. Um, I just did a nail video, go check it out. Um, a lot of people have been doing story times on YouTube, so I thought I would do a story time. Um, hope you guys like it. Um, nothing too fancy, nothing too impressive, really. Um, if anything, that's kind of embarrassing. Um, I'm gonna tell you a story of... Um, let's see what it is. It wasn't that long ago. Maybe, maybe a month, two months ago. Um, I've always been a shy, shy, shy person. So, I had a crush on this guy. Nothing over special. Um, and he was my best friend's cousin. And, um, I had a crush on him. I thought he was cute. He was nice. And I just had a crush on him. Um, so, I want to ask this guy out. And he, f I friend him on Facebook. So, he accepts my quest. And then he texts me and is like, hey. And I text him back and... We talk maybe a week later. My best friend was over here with me. Um, I'm not going to put any names in it, but my best friend in the whole world world was here with me. And um, she kind of helped me get through everything and gets me over my shy spots. So I've been wanting to ask this guy out forever. Since like the beginning of whenever he got here. Like he moved here. So whenever he moved here, I wanted to ask him out. And I finally got the courage up to do it. So I typed it into my phone. And then I backed down and said I can't do it. Um, dang, I almost said her name. Um, so being the friend she is, um, she said, I'll send it for you if you want me to. And then um, I exited out um, the message. And then she's like, you sure you don't want me to? And then I'm just sitting here shaking like, just do it. And then I run into the other room, scared that she's actually going to do it. And when I come back, she did it. And I was, we were waiting for his response. He was typing. So, I'm sitting here, like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What if he says yes? What if he says no? What if he says, I don't know? Like, it just, big thing going on. Um, so, I'm sitting here, like, okay. And then he texts back, and because my phone goes off because it was laying down flat. And then I'm like, I can't look. Um, you're going to have to look at it first. So she looks at it and she's like, um, Courtney, uh, I don't know if you want to know what he said. Um, so I'm like, just tell me. And he's, he thought it was a joke. And it made me kind of upset because it wasn't a joke. I was actually asking him out. And at the time it was really mean because my best friend, my other best friend, had just broke up with him. So, uh, and he still liked her. So, I still think that's why we didn't go out or something like that. But, he said, I don't know. And then he, st and then I told him, um, and he goes to my church. So, that Sunday at church, he's like, so did you, you were kidding, right? And then I wanted to say, yeah, I was kidding, but I wasn't kidding. And I had the guts to say, no, I wasn't kidding. Um, to this day, he still thinks I'm kidding about it. And he's ignoring me right now because he thinks I was joking. Um, so I don't know if he likes me or not, but I told him. And, um, he said, I don't know. And it made me kind of upset. And then, um, maybe two weeks later... My friend said that she talked to him, and he said that he didn't ever like me or any of that. He just didn't want to hurt my feelings. So then I was like, um, I would have rather you rejected me than let me keep on. Like, I can move on to another guy. I can move on and get another crush and try to go out with him. It's like no big deal. You could have just told me no. Um, and he still thinks it was a joke that I asked him out, and he won't leave it alone. So... Every once in a while, me and my friend would be like, okay, it wasn't a joke. It wasn't. And then she'll text him, hey, it wasn't a joke, by the way. And then I'll be like, it really wasn't a joke. And he'll just read it and then ignore me. He's still not texting me back. Um, anyway, just made me kind of upset that day. And it just 
completely messed up. Um, I'm not going to put any names in it in case they're watching this. But at the time, I think I was kind of desperate because I just got my heart broken by my boyfriend. Um, which is now my ex-boyfriend. Um, he broke up with me because of some stupid reason because of his stepmom because she didn't know me and blah 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 so um I guess that he didn't like me anymore because he came to me one day and said my stepmom doesn't care anymore and I told him okay well text me after school so after school I text him and before that at, uh, I have fourth period with, I had fourth period with him and in fourth period, he came to me and said that to me, and then he said, um, we can get back together if you want to, and I said, just text me after school, so after school, um, he texts me, and I'm like, so what do you mean we could get back together, and he told me that his stepmom didn't care anymore, and he said we could get back together if you wanted to, and then, out of nowhere, I said, what if I do want to get out, get back together, and he said, I don't know, um, but... I don't think we should get back together. And then I started all this why stuff. And then he said because him and his exes don't get along and stuff. And it just never made sense to me. It still doesn't make sense to me. And to this day, I still like this guy. I can't tell him, obviously. But if he's reading this and he knows who he is, I still like you. Um, the day we broke up, I cried my eyes out. Thought I wasn't gonna get over it. Every once in a while, I still get a little upset about it. Um, I kind of just went back and forth. I had broke up with a guy. Okay, let me tell you another story. So, my ex-boyfriend. Um, it was long distance. Didn't like it. I didn't like it, and I felt like he was cheating on me. I still felt like he was cheating on me to this day. I still think he was cheating on me. So I thought he was cheating on me. Um, he never had any time for me. He never talked to me anymore, and we had already broke up before that and got back together. Um, and he told me he was just being stupid that time. And this time I touched him. Uh, I texted him and said, I don't think it's gonna work out. And then so that he wouldn't get dumped. And look like a coward. He takes me, okay, then we're done. And I was like, um, it was supposed to be my glory to break up with you. Like, golly. Um, he still ignored me. And the other day, he called me a dickhead. Um, so if you're watching this, I'm the dickhead. So I guess that makes you a pussy face. Anyway, sorry for that language. Um, that's a really long story time. We got kind of off topic. But... I went from him to the guy about the stepmom to crushing on this guy. Um, right now, I was taken, but not anymore. Single, single. Um, kind of sucks though. Can't find a decent guy. Just can't find a decent guy. Um. I'm about to really just give up. Um, I'm about to send another, uh, another story time after this one about what's going on right now story time. Um, hope you guys like this video. Like, subscribe, comment, and alright, bye guys.